let's jump in today and have a look at how to create your very own repeating brushes or stamps in Procreate. This is a technique I've been using for years and years. It's something that I think every artist can definitely take advantage of. So without further ado, let's jump in and firstly have a talk about why you might want to do this. We're going to be working on this piece here today. I think it's pretty cool, but I'm going to use this as an example today of ways that you could go even further using stamps or repeating brushes. So let's jump in and have a look at exactly what a Procreate stamp or repeating brush is. If we go into our brush library here and we're going to look through my brush folders. You can see I've got quite a lot here. Let's jump into TS Traditional Design. This is a pack that I bought a couple of years ago. And as you can see, they don't look like traditional brushes. These are essentially stamps that I can go and select any of these. And then if I go back to my artwork, a simple tap of my pencil and I have that design there. Now, why would you wanna do this and is it cheating? Firstly, it's definitely not cheating and it really depends on how you use it. I like to use it in the way where I speed up my workflow. If it is very basic flowers or leaves like this, I think that's really useful. Things that I know I can draw, but sometimes I really wanna focus on the overall flow and look of the piece. So having these brushes there saved, ready to go, saves me so much time and they're definitely not the finished piece. For instance, this flower here, it probably won't look like that in the end, but it definitely gives me an idea of placement for where I want things. All right, that's a little bit about why you might wanna create them. Now, let's have a look at actually creating one of these stamps or repeating brushes. First things first, let's tap on gallery. We need to create a new canvas, a little plus in the top right-hand corner of your screen. We're gonna select square for this. This is important. I've always created these with square canvases in mind. I think they just work a little bit better, and I'll show you why in a second. So. If we keep that piece in mind, that skull piece I designed, let's just say I wanna drop some leaves in the background of it. I know how to draw leaves, but I wanna speed things up. So what I could do is I could grab a sketch brush. Let's go my absolute favorite 6B. And then we're going to choose a color. I like to choose a color for my sketches, especially with these stamps, because when you drop them in your piece, it's a way to have them appear there, but know that they're not like the final overall design. You can come in later and line over the top or change them as you need. So we're gonna go for a nice dark red and then we're gonna just simply start drawing our leaf. We'll come back in a second and see what that looks like. Cool, I love the look of this. This leaf is looking nice, very basic. The point is not to have a fully finished leaf design something very basic and I'll show you why in a second. So we're gonna tap on the actions tab, top left, and we're gonna copy canvas. We definitely need to copy this canvas. Then we're gonna tap back on our brush library on the top right. And then let's go to the top and hit the little plus icon. That's gonna create us a new brush library. And we're gonna name this one Rockets Brushes. I highly suggest you do this. It's a great way to keep a track of everything you've created, but also to go back in and make adjustments as you go and keep them all in one centralized space. So we have our new brush library there and all we have to do is tap on the little plus icon and we're into our brush studio, exactly where we wanna be. Now that we're in here, we can tap on shape on the left-hand side and don't worry about a lot of what's going on in here. The main area we wanna be is up in the middle on edit. Perfectly where we wanna be, we're gonna press import and we're gonna press paste because we copied our canvas before and this is gonna allow us to paste it. This is why I like these canvases to be square. And then we're gonna take two fingers and we're just gonna tap them on the screen. That'll invert your canvas and this is a very important part of the step. And then we are gonna hit done. That won't finish everything yet, but it will allow us to uh, import that drawing into where we need it to be, into the shape area of the brush studio. Now, two more areas we need to focus on before we have our brush stamp or repeating brush ready to go. One of them is down in properties. Let's tap on that. And we're gonna make sure we change our brush behavior here. We're gonna go maximum size. We're gonna make it as far as it'll go, max it out. And there is one other area we need to focus on before we hit done on the top right hand corner. And that is stroke path. Let's make sure we tap on stroke path. And then that very top property there, spacing, we're gonna max that out as well. As we see, the more we increase that, the more spaced out it becomes. And then we can go ahead and hit done. Perfect. Now we've actually created our first brush stamp or repeating brush. What we're gonna do now, let's tap on the layers panel. 
Let's turn off layer one. We don't wanna see that at the moment. We're gonna hit the little plus icon. We have a new layer over the top. And then when you go back, tap on the brush library again, make sure we have our new brush selected. And then all we have to do is tap out of that, select our size. As you can see, we've already got our stamp ready to go. And then we can simply tap on the screen. And there we have it. That's how you create a very basic Procreate stamp or repeating brush. They're a great way to speed up your workflow, do things very fast within this amazing app. So get out there, give it a go, and I'll catch you in the next video.